Hi guys, this is the farm I'm making for Sunday's game. And now, obviously, I'm making this for Sunday's game, so hopefully, in Sunday's game, you'll see it much further on than it is now. So, it's quite big, I mean, it's roughly a foot square. Um, it's got walled walls are two inches thick. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to use uh, coffee stairs and cut it into little sections put along the top so it's like tiles uh, so it's like cappings on the top of the wall uh, there's the uh, archway in you've got small building here and you've got large building there and then that's the stables now stables is sealed off not open but I'm going to do the tops of these two buildings so you can actually lift the roof off and put figures inside uh, so they can shoot out the windows so they're able to do basically four-sided defense from the farm the majority of the time I think they'll be in the courtyard here now I've got some stuff to put down here this uh, eventually it's going to be like a cobblestone effect um, I'm going to PVA glue all the walls and put fine sand on uh, using play sand and when, when that's dry um, it will be painted white so that's that's the next stage I'm at now I'm at the point now where I've got to well, I've got to put my coffee stirrer capping stones on the walls and then I'm going to PVA it all and paint it white and uh, it's uh, Thursday night at the moment, so by the time this is dry, I'm, I might get a coat of white paint on it, but it certainly won't be anywhere near finished to the game on Sunday, but uh, I'm hoping to use it anyway. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to carry on by saying I'm going to put these uh, cabin stones on, PVA glue it, sand it, and then tomorrow night I'll show you it where I'm up to with it. Hopefully I'll, I might have a coat of paint on it, if not, There'll be a coat of paint going on it tomorrow. Okay, so come back in a second for you. What will be a day for me? Hey guys, so I'm back again. I put the. I ended up using lolly ice sticks because coffee stairs were, were, weren't that wide enough. They literally just sat on the top of the wall, there was no overhang. And I PVA'd all the outside and covered it in sand. As I say, I've only done the outside at the moment, so when that dries, it'll paint it all white and it'll look like a whitewashed wall, hopefully. And say, so it's just the outside done. And I'm gonna let that all dry and then I'll uh, do the same thing with the inside. But for effect purposes, I wanted the outside of the wall doing first. Um, See how far I get on before the game on Sunday. Okay guys, so I've got all the sand on and I've sprayed it all grey. See all the walls uh, textured now with sand. And what I've done is I've used some corrugated card on the roof of the stable and also on the roof of the main entrance to the courtyard with a bit of card across the top there to hide the joint and also work like a ridge tile and then I've also created the roofs for the other bit there's the small roof and then there's the big roof with a chimney so there you go that's my farm I say I just got to finish off painting it now but it's pretty it's built it's now just down to painting and that's probably where I'm gonna mess it up okay guys quick update I've now repainted all the walls with my PVA white paint mix so I need need that to dry I've gone around the edge with the a craft knife and I've stubbed all the edges down. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to cover all this 
with um, basin paste but I'm not going to use the commercial available ones because to do that it costs a fortune so I've done this in the past so I'll uh, quickly go through again yeah, PVA glue choice of colour this is the 99p artist paints from B&M's or it will cause one of them and play sand play sand's great big massive bag for a couple of quid what i'm going to do is going to put all of this pot give it a stir and all i'm going to do is actually use the brush and paint it on and then leave it to dry so when the glue dries obviously it just sticks the it sand down onto the the edge and of course it'll dry the colour that it needs to be because it's got the paint in it so just mix it up and then I'll uh, make a start okay guys so I've mixed up my base and paste now you can see it's quite uh, quite thick and all I'll do is I'll just put it on like this all over so I'll get on now I'll do that and I'll come back when it's all done So the basin paste is on all the way around. Let's wait until that to dry now. But what I've started to do is I'm doing the floor to the courtyard. And what I've done is I've printed off two A4 sheets of cobblestones. And I've basically I've cut it in, PVA glued that to the base. And I'm going to cut this one there to match. Glue that one down. And then when it's all dry, I'll give it a coat of uh, spray varnish which should uh, seal it all down and mean it stays put so I'm going to put this down now and then I'm going to leave it overnight because that's about as much as I can do on it today so see you on the next update okay guys so it's finished the um, cobbled floor is now glued down I've repainted roof the stones and I've used the same technique that I do for my Napoleonic figures. I've watered down PVA glue and static grass all around the outside. So that's my farmhouse finished. I'm pleased with the way it's turned off. Thanks for watching. Hope you like the way it's built. And we're going to have a go on doing your own. Thanks for watching guys. See you all next week.